Kevin Byard. The Tennessee Titans won the AFC South. They are the number one seed in the AFC. For someone like you who has been a part of this Titans team for a while, who's really seen the evolution of this team, what does this victory mean to you? It means a lot, man. You know, just understanding that, you know, we got guys on the team that's been in the league 10 plus years, never had a number one seed. So I definitely understand the impact of this. I understand that these things don't come that often. So I'm definitely grateful, happy. We're definitely going to celebrate that. You know, going to this playoffs, man, it's just, it's just a good feeling that, you know, in fact, we have a first round bye. You know, we're kind of already in the Elite Eight. We get to watch some playoff games next week and find out who we play. What do you do with that first round bye? Because you don't know who you're going to be playing in that second round. Do you use that time to reset? Do you use it to rest? Do you watch all of the football games that happen that week? Yeah, I wouldn't say we necessarily reset. You know, I definitely think that obviously we get an extra week to get some guys healthy. But at the end of the day, obviously I watch all the playoff games or whatever. But it's really about keeping this thing rolling. Obviously it's going to be sudden death, you know, winner go home type thing. So that mentality is going to be getting echoed throughout the entire building that, hey, you know, we got to win one game a week. So, it's, you know, it's go time. Describe that playoff mentality for me. What makes it a little bit different than the regular season? Oh, it was a whole different mentality. I mean, even when you go out there in pregame warm-ups, the crowd, you know, the stadium's already packed out. You know, it's going to be primetime football. The whole country's going to be watching you. It's a new season, honestly. You know, when you walk out there for the game, you're going to feel like this is week one all over again. So guys going to be juiced up and ready to ball out in primetime. Now, you didn't want to talk about it before the end of the regular season because everyone was really focused on the Houston Texans and what needed to be done. But the return of Derrick Henry, having him back out at practice, hopefully being able to get him back for the playoffs, what is that going to mean for this Titans team? As a defensive player, you see this offense on the field fighting for everything that they can get. What is that going to mean? I mean, getting Derrick Henry back, you know, at the perfect time in January, where, you know, most guys are kind of banged up. Most guys don't want to tackle that well. And to have him out there, obviously, being one of our leaders on the offense is going to be huge for us. Obviously, we talked about, you know, in the offseason, beginning of the season, you know, having that three-headed monster. And I think at this point of the year, we're finally going to have all those guys healthy. So, you know, watch out for the offense, honestly. Watch out. You were talking about the mentality shift for the playoffs, and that seems like something this defense is very familiar with, the mentality shift. The change from the 2020 Titans defense to the 2021 Titans defense is incredible. Just on paper alone, it's wild. The statistics and the numbers that the Titans were able to generate on defense in 2021, that had to have been a mentality shift, right? Absolutely. It started during training camp. You know, I think the guys really bought in, understanding that obviously 2020 definitely wasn't good enough. So I think everybody came into this training camp with a mentality that we have to be better. Obviously, the guys that John and, and Vrabel brought in, from Danico to Bud, you know, all these guys that we brought in, Jack Rabbit, they came in and immediately bought in, understood the, the responsibility that we had to this team to make sure that we played well. And I think it kind of showed out every single weekend. Excited to keep it going during the playoffs. This is a really exciting time, Kevin Byer. You're so chill right now. How do you keep that level of calm going into this? Or is there a point where you let it fall just a little bit? No, I mean, honestly, just being a leader on this team, there's a lot of things to celebrate right now. But, you know, just like Kobe said way back, man, we, we haven't done nothing yet. The job isn't done. You know, our mentality and our entire focus on winning the Super Bowl. So, obviously, it's a time to celebrate the AFC South time to celebrate the number one seed, but all it does is just put us in a good position. We still have to go out there and prove it every single week because like I said, man, it's going to win or go home. So that's the mentality that we haven't done nothing yet. And you're doing it at Nissan Stadium. Absolutely. Hey, super excited to see all those fans. They really showed out this week in Houston. So I know it's going to be a packed out. We're really going to have home field advantage with the, you know, the fans in Nissan. So I'm definitely going to be looking forward to seeing those guys out there.